I am Dr. Franklin Yao. I'm a board-certified vascular surgeon with Vanguard Vascular and Vein in Dallas, Texas. In this short video, I will be talking to you about varicose vein treatments in our vein center. I will discuss with you the causes for varicose veins, the symptoms and complications, as well as the diagnosis and treatments. Thank you for tuning in. I will share answers to all your questions coming right up. Varicose vein problems can affect men and women of all ages and can result from both acquired or inherited causes. The underlying source of the varicose vein problems is a malfunction in the valves of the veins. The valves of the veins help the blood move from the legs back to the heart. These one-way valves keep the blood moving in one direction and prevents the blood from flowing backwards. Valvular dysfunction can result over time due to age, blood clots, trauma, or pregnancy. When these valves do not work properly, venous reflux occurs, the blood pools in the lower extremities, and the veins dilate. This results in symptoms of pain and swelling, skin discoloration and ulcerations, achiness, heaviness, tightness, fatigue, and restless legs. As part of your evaluation, we determine the clinical staging with the CEAP classification. There are six classes. Early stage disease, or C1 and C2, include spider veins and large varicose veins. Intermediate stage disease, or C3 and C4, include swelling and skin discoloration. Advanced stage disease, or C5 and C6, describes venous ulcers. We also determine the severity of your symptoms with a venous clinical severity score, which ranges from zero to 24. We use the classifications and the scores to help us monitor your progress during treatment. After the clinical examination, we need to obtain a map of the veins of the lower extremities by performing a superficial venous ultrasound examination. This study helps us identify the veins in the legs which are the source of the problem and helps us determine a plan of care. An initial treatment plan includes compression stockings, periodic leg elevation, and a trial of exercise and weight loss. If conservative management is unsuccessful, we can then consider vein treatments such as venous ablation. Venous ablation is a minimally invasive vein procedure where we close a superficial vein with reflux in the leg. This procedure has replaced vein stripping surgery, which we used to perform years ago and required hospitalization and a prolonged recovery. Venous ablation can be performed safely in the outpatient vein center and requires less than 30 minutes with minimal discomfort affording the patient the ability to return to normal activity within two days. There are several modalities for venous ablation. These are radiofrequency, laser, pharmacomechanical, and chemical. All these modalities treat underlying reflux, but each modality has its pros and cons. Depending on your varicose vein pattern, one modality may be better than another. That's why it's important for you to discuss with your vein specialist which modality is the best one to treat your specific vein problem. Sclerotherapy is a vein treatment where we remove unsightly spider veins. We inject the medication into each individual spider vein. It typically requires several sessions to obtain a good cosmetic result. And sometimes it requires future sessions to maintain that good cosmetic result. We recommend using polydocanol and sodium tetradecol because these are FDA approved, have the lowest side effects, and the best cosmetic results. We don't recommend hypertonic saline or glycerin because they are not FDA approved and their side effects are higher and they have poor cosmetic results. Microphlebectomy is a minimally invasive vein procedure where we remove large varicose veins that are too large to be treated with sclerotherapy. We administer a local anesthetic into the skin and then we use small surgical instruments through needle holes to remove these large varicose veins. All of these vein procedures, venous ablation, microphlebectomy, sclerotherapy, can be performed in the outpatient vein center with no discomfort, minimal downtime, and a quick recovery. Follow-up ultrasounds are performed the following week, and short-term and long-term follow-ups are also scheduled. Most patients report a significant improvement in their vein symptoms within one to two weeks. I hope that this video has been informative in helping you understand a little bit more about varicose veins and its treatment. 
If you have a varicose vein problem and you are seeking medical care, I recommend that you find a board certified vascular surgeon in your area who specializes in varicose vein treatment. Thank you for watching this video. Best of luck. If you are looking for a consultation with a vascular surgeon, please contact us and see if we are a right fit for you. Thank you for watching this video and please check out our other available videos.